Welcome to Arcade Hollywood. Greetings and welcome to the arcade. This is episode 59, the mystery game reveal and arcade game inspection. So every game collector and operator goes through this process to some degree and it's conducting an inspection upon acquiring a video game or a pinball machine. In this episode, I am going to reveal my new acquisition and I'm also going to do an inspection of the game. All right, let's get started. All right, everybody. So here we are. Back from, back from Chicago. And we brought a game back with us. And I am going to, um, right now I'm gonna unveil this game and uh, show you what it is. So what we, what we have picked up and added to our collection is an absolutely beautiful condition Bosconian. And I've been after Bosconi for a long time. Got this one from Rockford, Illinois, and this one is absolutely in gorgeous condition. Side art's in great shape. Um, the control panel, panel glass, everything's beautiful. The coin door is beautiful. Um, the side art's in great shape. Let's do a little inspection on the Bosconian upright. So. There's the original tags, and it shows Bosconian upright, and then shows the serial number, 10,204. I'm, I'm going to assume that this, the, this is actually 10,204, because I think some of my other Bally Midway games actually have zeros in front of those um, last three digits. So I'm, I think this probably is the 10,000th upright and everything's intact in this game and actually somebody went the extra mile and put a wells garner 7000 in it so this game is beautiful inside and out we'll do a further investigation but the game plays and i will fire up a game just to show you here in a few minutes all right everybody i am moving down to theater Cade, and we have unloaded the Newest acquisition to Arcade Hollywood, and it is Bosconian. It is a very gorgeous, mint condition Bosconian. And um, I really only had to do just minor cleaning to this game. It's, it's an amazing shape. I acquired this game from a, a console collector who actually had a couple of video games, and he wanted a Galaga, so... We made the exchange for one of my spare Galagas. Yeah, I mean, look at this thing. This thing, this thing is uh, absolutely beautiful inside and out. Actually, 100% original. About an hour ago, I added the Bosconian High Score Save Kit. And uh, actually, it's got a Wells Garner 7000 in it, which is a bonus. Right on the back of the game here. That's the original serial number for the Bosconian, and I want, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that that's, that number is a straightforward number. I think that's the 10,204th serial number for the upright. Um, also, you can, you can really, you can't see it on camera as well, but you can see the serial number there too. They, a Valley Midway always put the serial numbers right here kind of imprinted in the wood on the upper part of the uh, cabinet area C. So, yeah, this game's amazing. It's, uh, everything's original in this game, so it's pretty impressive. Now, here's one thing I am going to have to do. It's still got the original um, power supply, so I am going to have to swap that out and put a switching power supply with the, uh, with the Bosconian power supply adapter. But, yeah, this is, um, what a keep! What a keeper. Okay, if you you can tell on top here, it might look a little rough, but it's really not. Actually, I've only had two games where this has been the case. But see here, this is the original. 
packaging tape that came with this game when they released it. Look at how brand new that surface is. Um, I, I think for now I'm going to keep that. Um, that's kind of a little bit of arcade history right there to have that that original packaging on there on the top. So how cool is that? That's pretty rare to have that in uh, this day and age for a game this old. So, all right, I'm going to move this game into position and we're going to play a little Bosconian. We have conducted a very high level inspection of the Bosconian uh, cabinet. The game's in really great shape, but we did notice a couple things that are wrong with this game. And right now we put the back door, we placed the back door on the game and we've moved Bosconian into this row here right next to the zookeeper. And I really love the, uh, really love the height of the Bosconian cabinet in uh, contrast to the zookeeper and the baby pack. It looks really great uh, in this row. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up some credits in Bosconian and we're going to check out to see if this game functions like it should. Check this out here. Uh, the previous owner had installed a, a credit button here. And um, that is a really nice little feature there. Even though I've installed the high score kit, which has free play on it. So, but it's nice to have that button on the coin door. All right, everybody. So I am going to hit the one player start button. Now, right away, right away, I think you can tell if, if anybody's familiar with Bosconian, there is something missing on this motherboard or there's a problem already that I've noticed, it is missing the speech. And um, the game plays, I, I did install a high score save kit. I did that off camera. And you get that from arcadeshop.com. And um, what a great game. So according to um, the details on Bosconian, this was actually one of the very first games, if not the first game, there's a, there's a little bit of a dispute. The first game to actually have a continuation when you end the game and um, you can in, insert the credits for more game time. So this was one of the very first games to have a continuation. And you can also turn that on or off with the dip switch settings on the PCB. Um, Yeah, this game is really, this is, I used to play this game a lot at the bowling alley when I was a kid. Loved it. I don't, I don't think it got a lot of love out there in the arcade world. I think um, Galaga was the favorite. There's something else too. I think late in the run on the Bosconians, they probably, I think from what I understand, late in the run, um, the Bosconians just weren't selling, so I think they started converting some of the Bosconians to Galaga. So if you have a white Galaga, I think you're, I think you might have a really nice uh, collector's piece if you can find one of those. Yeah, this is, this is, um, this is such a fun game. And the object of the game is to actually knock out the space stations. And you can knock the space stations out two different ways. You can hit them in the middle to knock them out in one shot. Or in the, in the later rounds, you can hit the space stations by knocking out the... Um, um, they're, they're called forts based on the um, instruction card here on the control panel. Each space station has like six forts to it. So let me, let me head over to a space station here. So see, you can see the little forts here. There's one, there's two. And let's see, I'm gonna knock out the space station by hitting the forts. So there's four, four down. What's, ooh, oh, there we go. And it has, um multiple levels here and 
each there's it, the game gets harder and harder as you go. This is your typical 80s. Oh crap! Typical 80s games. Um, hit all these space stations. Like I said, I did a uh, high score save kit install and it also gives you free play. One of the things, like with Galaga and Bosconian and quite a few other games of this era, it would, if you coin a game up, it's, it would get stuck on that in, um, start one or two player text and it would kind of burn the monitors up. So. The free play options on some of these modern um, upgrades, they're really great because I can put coins in. I know Owen likes to go around and put coins in the games and you know when, when you got the free play options on some of these then you can um, not worry that the monitor is going to sit there and uh, just say one or two start and burn, put a burn in. So far, my high score is 71,140. I think what I'm gonna have to do is, I took a look at this mo uh, this motherboard, this PCB is a little, it's, it's damaged in areas, and I think instead of me trying to sp spend time fixing it, I'm actually going to send this out to El Dorado Games. And uh, I think I'm just going to pay them to fix it because it's really hard to find a it's really hard to find a working Bosconian motherboard. So that way, let's see if I can. I'm oh, my last guy here. Okay. Yeah, like I said, it's missing the speech, and the speech is uh, it adds a really cool dimension to this. It, when you uh, when you get the condition red, oh man, I got whacked. When you get the condition red thing, it, it'll say condition red. See, there you go. It says uh, um, to continue game, push the start button, and then if you want to put more credits in, you can. But yeah, for now, um, I'm just gonna leave it on those settings. But see, yeah, with the free play option, I've got a couple of couple of credits in there and it still goes over to the attract mode so it doesn't cause any stress on the monitor um, really great option so all right you guys that's that's the Bosconian and uh, more more in the future on this game I'm gonna get the board running and then I'm gonna do some features on this game but grateful to have it in the collection all right, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Arcade Hollywood. Huge thanks to Chris in Illinois for hooking me up with the Bosconian. We will do a complete game review in a future episode. Once again, I want to give a huge shout out to my good friend Mike Miller and his band Origami for providing me with all the amazing music for this channel. You can check him out at origami.tumblr.com. Coming soon to Arcade Hollywood, we will have the Mario Brothers Restoration Reveal, the Star Wars Arcade episode, a live game tournament with Arcade Super Awesome, and an Arcade Vlog Update. This is a great time to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget, you can check me out on Twitter, Arcade Hollywood at Hollywood Arcade. We are also out there on Facebook and Google+. Please email me with any comments or questions at discohollywood1 at gmail.com. All right, this does it for another episode of Arcade Hollywood. Until next time, rock on.